Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome. Today we are doing a everyday makeup look with my favorites, some of my favorite products. I have lots of favorites. I hope you will enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on my other social media. And without any further ado, let's get started. Uh, first of all, I would like to apologize for my absence. I know I haven't been posting or uploading videos much lately. You know, you're sometimes you're at the time of your life, you have other priorities and I had other priorities. But I'm back and I am so glad I missed you and I missed filming. Let's just jump into the video. And for today, I want to talk about my favorite products. I'm not gonna say April's favorite or May's favorite because I've been using those products for, I would say, a few months now. All right, first of all, so my face is clean. I use my Shiseido Perfect Cleansing Oil. And then I've been using the Hole Enriksen, hopefully I say that correctly, Balancing Force Oil Control Toner. I heard Daisy Perkins raving about that toner. I was a little bit skeptical first because I have dry skin, um, but I always have those occasional breakouts and then the leaf marks and it's really hard to get rid of those little dark spots. So I've been using this and it doesn't leave your skin dry at all. It feels very moisturized and almost a bit tacky, but not too much. So I'm just gonna prep my skin with it today using my favorite cottons, like facial cottons uh, from Shiseido. I already have a backup, not lying, I love this. Like once you try these cottons, it will be really hard to go back to the, you know, standard cotton. So I'm just gonna take one for this. And it smells a bit like tea tree oil, but it's not too overwhelming. I'm not going around my eye area with it. I'm gonna just prep my skin with it. And I also at the end of the day, when I take off my makeup, I use that just to make sure that there is nothing left on my skin. And I really like to insist on my nose area. It feels very cooling too, if you do that. Feels very nice on the skin. A oldie but a goodie. I always come back to that serum. That's the Drunk Elephant C Fermat Day Serum. I just love that thing. Like I purchased the Mini Holy Enrix and Vitamin C Serum. I want to try it on, but I want to finish that little guy. It's my third bottle. I love it. I uh, bought this one during the VIB sales. Save a little bit of money because this is not cheap. The smell is not the greatest. It does so much good for your skin that you overpass that. And every time I put on that serum, my skin is so glowy. Whatever foundation that I put on top, so glowy. And the packaging, it's just the best. Then I added to the family the C-Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I've been using this now for a few weeks. I like it. I, I really like the consistency. You don't need too much, like don't go a full pump, it will be way too much. I just use that amount and put it under my eyes, bring in here, and then I put what is left on my lids. And I really like it. I have a feeling it does brighten uh, my under eyes. I don't, I don't have like very dark circles, but sometimes I can have a little redness. I still love my Rodial one, my Dragon's Blood. This little guy that is still on my vanity. This little combo I've been using uh, since December and I still use it. For today, I'm actually going to work. I'm wearing my jean jacket just to be cute. I'm not gonna wear that <laughs> this afternoon. Um, oh yeah, and I, I cut my hair and I, I went back to blonde. Well, blonder for me, at least. And uh, I've been loving it. Like, it's the first time, actually, I leave it straight. Usually, I curl it with my flat iron. I found that that was the best way for my lob. I just want to mention my... And nothing is sponsored. I'm not sponsored, obviously. I want to mention my Brio Geo Scalp Revival. I bought the set during the sales, too. It comes with the oil for the scalp. And I love, love this family. Like I have um, the Don't Despair Repair mask. I really like it, I love the smell. But this, I have dry scalp sometimes and it's, I hate when it gets flaky and you have stuff in your hair, your roots, this is, uh, it grosses me out. And they have done wonders uh, for my scalp. 
when you use it so that's a shampoo actually it comes in that tub and it smells divine it smells like uh, chocolate mint so mint chocolate it's it's just uh, it has a that jelly consistency slightly um, grainy you know uh, to exfoliate I guess your your scalp it has charcoal and coconut oil and then when you use the conditioner it just leaves your hair so fresh when you get out of the shower you, when you walk outside it's super refreshing super cooling I love it anyway back to my face something I've been using for, as a primer but well I love my Smashbox primerizer like look at that I already have a backup actually I'm about to finish that bottle and I've been loving this this winter especially when you travel you don't want to bring like tons of creams and things like that this works as a moisturizer as well I love it um, but for today I want to show you the Bobbi Brown extra golden glow Illuminating Monster Balm. They have a bare glow one, but I bought the golden glow. This little guy, well, once again, I love this type of packaging and it gives the most beautiful glow to your face. So I just take that amount and I'm not gonna focus it in that area because I don't want it to exaggerate my, my pores. Right here, my forehead, a little bit on the nose. And it smells very um, herbal and it gives the most Glorious natural glow. I love it. I'm gonna start with foundation because I'm not gonna do something dramatic on my eyes I'm going to work. So it's gonna be very simple. I have a few foundations. I've been loving these last few months. I Rediscovered the brand Hourglass. I'm obsessed with it actually. I I bought the um, Hourglass Vanish Champagne Flash highlighter that I'm gonna use later on and uh, I have a bronzer and I have the Hourglass Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint. This little guy, well, I purchased it in the shade beige, just so you know. Uh, it's slightly, a tiny bit too dark right now, but I, I wanted to purchase that because we're coming like, spring is here, well, today is ugly, but spring is here and summer is coming, so I'm going to be more tan, so I want to use that and not I don't want it to wait in a drawer like until fall. I bought that little guy during the sales again. This gives you the most gorgeous glowy skin. It's blurred. It's not too thick. The coverage, I would say it's medium coverage. And I'm gonna blend it with my Rogel airbrush foundation brush. I love that little guy. It, the bristles are so dense. It blends the foundation like beautifully. I would say it's great for dry to normal skin. I don't know how it would work on the uh, oily skin, but for my dry skin, it's just gorgeous. It looks so natural. I have that kind of glowy, like oily face at the end of the day but like in a beautiful way like it looks super natural it looks like the product like really synced in my uh, my skin to become one let's see like that glow i'm gonna put concealer and for today i'm gonna use my nars soft matte complete concealer in the shade cannelle or uh, light 2.75 i think it's a new shade i'm not sure but yeah, it's been really nice for no makeup makeup days. I, I put it in my purse and whenever I need to do a little touch up during the day, I just, uh, yeah, dab, dab, dab. It's not too light. Very often, well, I like when it's um, brightened under the eyes. And I put what is left on my lid. And see, it's super natural. I'm gonna put it on those little guys here. Those little zits that don't go away. It's nothing to pop, but they just stay here. I've been using for, well, a few months now, the Origins Super Spot Remover. It's an acne treatment gel and just put it on. I usually put it on before going to bed. It gives that little film, but it dries and it really reduces the inflammation. We're a tiny bit shiny. And that's normal, I tell you, every time I use my C Firma Serum, I'm like super glowy. Well, and on top of that, I use my Bobbi Brown Golden Glow, so that's why. Well, I didn't buy the full size of the Hourglass, the new uh, loose powder. The reason why I didn't purchase it is because I had the chance to add that little guy in my basket as a deluxe sample. And that's the Vell Translucent Setting Powder. You know, that's the one with a big H. Everybody's raving about it right now. But instead of buying the full size, sometimes, you know, it's great if you have your points, redeem your points at Sephora on Sephora's website and you get a deluxe sample and usually it will last you a 
long time. A little tip here of a pro shopper. Okay, I have my little powder here. Let's grab a little brush. I've been loving that one uh, from Smashbox. It's the angled powder, pow angled powder, sorry. I'm just taking a tiny bit and I'm just gonna focus right here. I'm gonna leave it that part glowy. I found that that powder is actually beautiful. I bought that Smashbox the Cali Contour palette and this one I bought at Shoppers actually with my points at Mural, sorry. It was at Mural and this is a gorgeous contouring palette. You have the perfect contour shade here, you have a nice bronzer, the blush is divine. This is actually super brightening under the eyes. I'm actually gonna use it to show you guys. And then you get two highlighters. So I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury super bougie brush, the powder and skull brush. I have zero regret purchasing that brush. I use it every day and I love it. And I washed it and it's still intact and it's been, well, almost two years now. And I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the bronzer here. And what I like to do, I go under my nose and slightly on top, right here, like the the sun has been uh, cooking it. Look, it looks like I've been in uh, on a patio for a few hours. So pretty. And now I'm gonna take the contour shade and I'm gonna mix it with a tiny bit of a bronzer shade, just to make it the perfect contour for me and. Just slightly contour my cheeks and it gives that super natural contour. And with it, just go under a nose. So I'm gonna go into the blush. I bought that brush at Winners and I it's been my favorite blush brush uh, so far and it's been uh, two years now. It's the Opulent Beauty brush. Um, I don't know if it's still like, where do they sell that, that brand? But I always find Opulent Beauty brushes at Winners. And I, I love it, honestly. Great brush. Super pretty brush. I would say I would love for them to have like a, a darker version for deeper skin tones because the formula is great. So Smashbox, you need to come up with this palette but like in a darker version. See, it looks so nice. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna show you that powder that banana powder under my eyes and you're gonna see how brightening it is and it doesn't look cakey and I'm just gonna set my lid with it too and look at how brightening it is and I'm gonna take a smaller brush just in the middle and sculpt a little nose job and you know what for the highlighter so these are nice but I want to show you I'm just gonna use my champagne flash vanish stick from Hourglass such a stunning highlighter. I love it. It deserves all the praise you can hear about online. Stunning. Look at that. And you can put it like before or after powder. And this is what I love about that highlighter. Just look at that. And I love to put it right here and bring it a tiny bit down but not too much. And a tiny bit here. Whatever is left on my finger right here on my cupid's bow or on my brow bone and the inner corner because why not i love it so much i think it's one of the best product of the year face is done just gonna do a little fix plus spritz i haven't tried like the the one with like the gold and it over rose gold i don't know what do you think guys I, have you tried it does it worth it or do you prefer the original let me know down below Okay, so for my eyes, we're gonna do something um, quite simple. A palette that I want to use today. I've been like using my old palettes again because I found it so ridiculous the number of palettes that come out and you just like, okay, buy this one, this one, this one, and then you, well, you forget about your other palettes that are so good, you know? So for today, I want to take, you know what? It's been a very long time, so I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palettes. I haven't used it for a while and it's such a good palette so I'm just gonna use it. I'm not gonna name the colors, it's not a tutorial but I'm just gonna use that. So what are the products like skincare or makeup or 
either like any kind of random products that you've been loving and not necessarily related to beauty i heard someone raving about lush body cream sympathy for the skin that's the name of it fresh bananas sandalwood and cocoa butter on the skin what could be more luxurious and that's that little guy here from lush okay sorry guys my camera keeps dying so i was saying i can't remember what i was saying that cream has the most beautiful scent and it leaves your skin so glowy and hydrated i would say the only downside is like well the container is very nice and i know that they do that they recycle you can actually bring the containers back uh, to the store i wish it was coming in a tube i will have to decounter some of it into like a disposable uh, little container because I love it so much I want to take it with me everywhere I go you need to try this I've moved a little bit forward just because well I don't want to be late for work and my camera keeps dying keeps being rude and cut me off when I'm talking rude uh, I, I wanted to use that palette again it's such a beautiful palette you know what and I was kind of sick of always feel the need the obligation almost like to purchase a New York palette to show you guys and that's uh, one of the um, uh, downside of being on YouTube and uh, it's just you you have a constant pressure of buying new makeup and this is this has become ridiculous like am I actually like decluttering my makeup and giving some away or trying to sell some online like on Depop and because it's too much I don't need I only have one face and I have more than enough to play with. So yeah, I'm gonna give some to my friends already started, to my family, and then uh, yeah, I will try it well to donate as well to a women's shelter or to church. I don't know if they accept I use makeup, that's the only problem, even if it's barely used, to be honest. If you know uh, any ways to give away your makeup, you know, that has been slightly used or to sell it to because it's a lot of money too and I'm not being sent any PR package it all comes from my little wallet you know and that's a lot and these eyeshadows blend so well and I almost want to leave it matte but I'm gonna use one of the pink shimmers I think I'm actually really happy it's gonna sound like crazy for people who live in Vancouver maybe or like a rainy city I'm so excited for the rain uh, it's gonna wash our streets our roads and i don't know i always feel like everything looks way more green when it rains and i love the smell it makes me feel like good i was not saying that when i was living back in paris but now living in a very dry climate in alberta like yeah you're excited for the rain and now i'm going to show you guys something else i got during the sales it's a mark jacob highliner and this is in the shade Brown Out, and it's such a gorgeous shade. It comes with a little sharpener at the end, so I'm just gonna do that. And it's so easy to apply, and it has a little bit of sparkle in it, but I really like it. It's a very nice brown. So I put it in my waterline, and at night I can smudge it too in the bottom lash line, but I'm not gonna do that now. And now I'm gonna just put it at the roots of my lashes. And with a brush, I'm just gonna smudge it and wing it out a tiny bit. And you have to be quick if you want to smudge it because uh, it sets pretty quickly. But it stays all day long. I love it. It makes me want to have all the colors. Ugh. I'm just gonna curl my lashes quickly. And I'm still not putting false lashes on, guys. I, I know it, it really completes the look, especially if you do something a little bit more dramatic, but on an everyday basis I don't use false lashes it's just I can't I don't have the patience something I've been using this past month again I forgot about it and it's been in my drawer and it's such a good mascara it's the Urban Decay Perversion uh, bigger blacker batter like mascara and it's such a good mascara and I completely forgot about it another thing of buying so much makeup right and then you have all this stuff like waiting for you in a drawer Ooh, voila Eyes are done. For eyebrows, I'm gonna use my Rodia Glamour Brow and that's the shade Dark Ash Brown. I really like that one too. Just quick and easy. Voila. I'm gonna use my Clear Brow Gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
And you know what, for lips, I use fresh uh, sugar lip balm on my everyday basis. Like, well, I'm a, look at that. There's a serious dent in this little guy. Especially because, well, I'm still doing my Invisalign treatment and every time I put a color, unfortunately, it transfers a little bit. That's so why I, I tend to use like gl gloss or clear colors unless I, I take off my trays, like I don't wear my trays right now. And I'm gonna use my new Lip Glow by Dior. It's a color reviver balm and this is a holographic one, holo pink, super cute packaging. And I think it's a super cute color for the spring and summer. Very fresh. That's it my friends, I am ready to roll and go to work. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you like that look. What do you think of all the products that I've been using? Have you used it? Uh, what do you like? Uh, what you don't like? Leave a comment down below and thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video.